What advice would you give someone who has an unhealthy relationship with the naughty water? You know, parties were great when I started and even getting drunk and blackout, like, oh, it's so funny. And it's not as funny when you're in the real world. I was a teacher. I was a coach. Showing up to school from the night before, hungover, maybe still a little drunk. Like I said, I'd never do that. And then I did it. And rather than look at that as like a problem or an issue, I rationalized it. Mm -hmm. And I said, not that bad. And I had people being like, hey, dude, you're an alcoholic. Or hey, maybe you should take a look at that. And my response to people, and these are people that loved and cared for me, was like, hey, cool. Thank you for your unsolicited opinion. You can go fuck yourself. And if you, have a problem, <laughs> if you have a problem with me and how I'm living, kick rocks and go somewhere else. Truly deep down, I didn't want them to do that. And I was so scared of people really finding out who I was. So I always tell people, listen, there's a lot of ways to get sober. There's a lot of different things. I throw myself into the gym and doing like the recovery practices, like breathing and meditation meditation and cold plunging. I've tried hyperbaric chambers. I've tried cryotherapy, all these things to feel better. And that was like always the quest, right? What can I do to make myself feel better or take my mind off of what was going on?